Hi, I'm Taylor Banks from TheLearningBanks.com, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to plan a route in Google Maps, export that route, and import it into Google Earth, and then use Google Earth to explore the area, including using photographs from Panoramio. One of the real nice things about using Google Earth for trip planning is that it does make it much easier to save and explore details about your trip. So not only can you save notes about your destinations, you can also look at photos taken by other people in the area using Google's Panoramio service. So to do this, we're going to start out at the uh, Google Maps interface. You can get there by going to maps.google.com. And from the search box up here at the top part of the screen, you'll see an option for My Maps. What we want to do is create a new map for the purpose of creating our route. When I click on Create, this actually brings up the Google Maps Engine interface. You may get a little welcome dialog if you've never opened up the Google Maps Engine interface before. You can go ahead and close that dialog, and we're going to begin to add our directions. I'm not going to worry about titling the map right now or worry about the layers that are created on the map because all we really want to do is create a new directions layer and export it. So directly below the search box you'll see a directions button. When I click add directions this will add a new layer with A and B points for our map. So we're going to start out this trip in interior South Dakota at the Badlands White River KOA. So we'll start by searching for Badlands KOA there it is. From here we're going to travel over to Yellowstone National Park but we want to make a stop along the way in Devil's Tower. So we'll add Devil's Tower National Monument as our first destination. So this plots out the route from Badlands White River KOA to Devil's Tower National Monument and then from here we want to go from Devil's Tower all the way over to Gardner, Montana to the Yellowstone RV Park just on the north side of Yellowstone. To do that we're going to go click the Add Destination button and here we'll search for Yellowstone RV Park and there it is in Gardner, Montana. So now we've got a two destination route, right? We're going from the Badlands KOA in interior South Dakota to Devil's Tower National Monument in Devil's Tower, Wyoming and then from there over to the Yellowstone RV Park in Gardner, Montana. Now we want to take this route and export it so we can use it in Google Earth. To do so, you're going to go up here to the folder icon at the top left side of your Google Map Engine page, and when you click on the folder icon, you'll see an option down here at the bottom to export to KML. This is the file format we're going to use to import this data into Google Earth. When I click on the export button, I'm asked if I want to export the whole map or just a single layer. In this case, I'm only concerned about the directions layer, although there's really nothing else on our map, so it wouldn't really matter if I selected entire map or the directions layer. Here I'm just going to select our directions and hit the download button. Okay, so we've now downloaded the KML file and we want to open this file in Google Earth. So I'm going to jump over to the Google Earth interface. All right, now in Google Earth, all we're going to do is open the KML file we've just exported. To do this, we go up to the File menu and choose Open. We're going to select the KML file we just exported. And as you'll see, Google Earth will automatically plot these points on the map and zoom in to center on the route that we've just created. So now we've created a route in Google Maps. We've exported the route from Google Maps and imported it into Google Earth. And now we've plotted the route in Google Earth, allowing us to add notes and other information to the map. Furthermore, as I mentioned, one of the real nice things about Google Earth is the ability to overlay photos. To do so, I'm just going to go down here to the Layers dialog on the lower left-hand side of the Google Earth interface, and I'm going to check the box next to Photos. When I do so, you'll see all of these icons now plotted all over the map in and around the route that we've selected. These are all photos submitted by other Google Panoramio users from each of these specific locations. So for instance, if we wanted to explore the Devil's Tower National Monument area, we can zoom in on our Destination National Park, and we can start clicking on any of these photos in the surrounding areas. 
Generally, each one of these little photo icons may represent multiple photographs taken from the same area. So for instance, when I click on this photo of Devil's Tower, and that's a great photo, you'll notice there's actually seven photos that are all taken with approximately these same GPS coordinates. You can click through the photos down here at the bottom and see multiple photos. And note that you can do this pretty much any point you see these photo icons on the map. So now if you really want to take some time to explore where you're going, let's say we want to get a good look at the campground we're going to be staying at over in Yellowstone. So we can drag our map over to our final destination in Gardner, Montana. And since we've set Yellowstone RV Park as the final destination, all we really need to do is just zoom all the way in to our destination until we can get down to some photos that look like they're taken from that very specific GPS point. Alright, so here's the RV park, and that's actually pretty obvious by the RVs shown from the, uh, the satellite view. So let's grab a couple of these photos. Well, there you go. There's a great photograph of a rainbow taken from one of the spots at Yellowstone RV Park in Gardner, Montana. And what a great example of just how useful Google Earth can be for exploring the areas that you plan to visit. If you like this video, please make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel on YouTube and stop back by the blog often for more videos and tips like this one.